Hello, I'm Molly Keener, the Scholarly Communication Librarian here at Wake Forest. Chances are you've been thinking about your thesis or dissertation topic for years now, maybe even since before you entered graduate school. Now that you're in the midst of writing, it likely has become your all-consuming thought pattern. Is this chapter long enough? Does that conclusion make sense? Did I cite the right article? As consuming as your writing likely feels right now, I bet you haven't given much thought to how your thesis or dissertation is different from other written assignments. Sure, it's longer, significantly so, and you're driving the topic in a direction dictated primarily by you, with advisor input, of course. And let's be honest, it's your ticket to graduation. But have you thought about how the audience for this paper is different, how it will be shared, that it will live on? If not, there are some basics that you need to understand and think about to ensure that all will be well with your work. First, chances are that your work will be read by folks beyond your recruited editors, you know, your friends and family, and your review committee. Future grad students in your department might read it to get a sense of expectations for tone or structure in such works. Prospective graduate students or grad students in your field at other institutions may read it to see what types of questions are being explored by Wake Forest students. Researchers in your field may read it. People who find it via Google may read it. Anybody, really. How might they be finding it, you ask? Because all theses and dissertations at Wake Forest are automatically part of our online collection. Now, as the author and copyright owner of your work, you have some options available to limit access for a while after it's first released. Eventually, though, it will be part of our publicly accessible collection, as it is part of the corpus of scholarship created at Wake Forest. Because your work will be online, there is a greater likelihood that people whose works you've incorporated, either by citation or reuse, might also see it. In that case, you need to be sure that you've cleared all necessary permissions for using others' copyrighted content in your work or have assessed for fair use. And if you're incorporating your own previously published works, chances are you can do so, but there might be specific requirements from your publisher. You'll also need to cite your previously published works, otherwise you're self-plagiarizing. As I wagered earlier, chances are your thoughts are on your topic and your writing, not these ancillary issues, but they are important. And if you have questions, I'm here to help.